All right, y'all, it's your kid, Folk Dookie. Today, we're gonna test out a couple of gaming mounts that were sent over by the good folks over at EXA. And at the end of this, I'm gonna send each individual one of these to one of the viewers, man, because I rock with y'all. Y'all hold me down. Y'all know I will do a lot of giveaways here, but I figured that these should go into the hands of actual gamers. So let's go ahead and get these unboxed, and then I'll let you know how you can get one yourself down below in the comments. So we're gonna check these out. I'm gonna play a little game with them and then I wanna give these to y'all. We're gonna keep it clean and I will be cleaning them up afterwards, but I'll leave a link down below in the description. We got the EXA EM200, EM500, and we have the EM600. Let's go ahead and start with the EM200. 12,000 DPI scale, seven programmable buttons. A little RGB on here. I like how this looks. Let's just go ahead and open it up. Oh, maybe I won't send this one to you. Maybe I'll just buy you one. Oh, you do got a different color, okay. Okay, take a look. Get in close and take a look. So you got your buttons right here, DPI. Those don't feel amazing, but the left and right clicks are not bad at all. Standard scroll wheel. If you want me to break this down like some of the popular reviewers when they checking out a $200 final mouse or something like that, nah, this is under $20 right here, you know, so you're gonna get what you get. But this feels like an actual nice gaming mouse. Let's look at the bottom right here. Honeycomb effects under this paper right here. I'm mad at that, let's see, is it easy to switch this plate? It is kind of heavy, this kind of throws back to older uh, gaming mice, and they have it rated for 137 grams. I guess you could take this out, and it loses some of the weight. I would still say that this is probably at 100 grams. Oh man, that is clean okay i'm not mad at this at all wow this mouse right here is ten dollars right now on amazon this might be the budget mouse of history let's go ahead and move to the next one all right so that was the em 200 now we got the em 500 this is their super light gaming mouse right now it seems to be going for like 12 bucks i did a review on five below where you could go on five below and they have a bunch of gaming stuff i picked up the five below mouse i would buy this at 10 or 15 even over the five dollar mouse from five below because this feels like a real gaming mouse but this one is the super light if you're into the light gaming mice then this one should work for you you get eight programmable buttons, DPI, little RGB, 68 grounds. Nice, oh wow, this does feel, this feels super, compared to this, this feels twice the weight of this. And from my understanding it is, this at 138, this at 68. All right, so let's take a closer look at it right here. You get a little branding right here with your side buttons to see how they feel. Definitely clickier. They got a weird DPI button. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't like that. That feels like they went gamery on me. Left and right click are fine. I'm not gonna judge like all the imperfections and everything because we're here talking about a mouse that's under $15. It's lightweight. I like the shape. Then you got a little cut out here to help with the lightweight. Overall, I'm not mad at this. I'm at this one little bit. We're gonna game on this in a second and see what's good. Let's get to the last one. And here we have the big dog. This is the EM600. Got my knife. Let's go ahead and get this open. Oh, I'm the man handling these boxes. <laughs> oh, I'm just destroying these boxes. If you get this mouse for me and the box is all crazy. So it's looking like this is about $25. A little bit cheaper than like the Pulse Fire Haste. I love one of my favorite budget mice. Let's see. Ooh. So you got more of a matte feel on this one. This kind of reminds me of like the Logitech G503 or the G603. You get that ergonomic style. Oh wow, it's a sniper button. So let's take a look at it. You got your left and right clicks. 
Very nice scroll wheel. It's your DPI settings right here. Your left and right. They're clicky and they could be better. The front one's kind of mushy. Back one's more clicky. Both of them could be better. And then you got this button. What is this? Is like a little sniper button? Ah, that's kind of clean. I'm not mad at that. I've tried some sniper buttons before and the, the placing always felt off, but yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. You got your feet here, little design. That's your light switching button so you can change lighting modes here. Let's go ahead and uh, plug one of these in. All right, we'll do this part real quick. I turned off my main big lights that lit up the room. I still got one off here to the side, but I just wanted to give you a closer look at the RGB on these mice so you could get a better view of what it looks like. And they're all programmable. I went in and checked. They all come with their own software. Now, Exa, you gotta do better than that. You need to get one software because you sell a bunch of different headphones, mice. You need one software that people can download and check it out, especially if they have multiple you know, devices. But if you only have this one mouse, you can just download the software for this one mouse. Here's the 500, you get the little soft glow up under there, I like that. This button here on the back changes that lighting. And then we have something similar here on the big dog, the E6, EM600. You got RGB here on the wheel. You got a lit up logo right here on the front. And then you have the underglow. That's what drag back and forth looks like. That's yo-yo. Okay, well this is the RGB wave. So you can go in here and change it how you want. Let's turn the light on. Other than the weight, the weight is taking me a little bit to get adjusted to, but the actual performance is fine. So all we wanna make sure is that when I get in here with the feel, the overall control that I can gain, and for under $10, <laughs> under ten dollars this is a steal like this is what i would tell anybody who just did not want to spend any money on somebody's gaming setup to pick up this is it's a steal let's take the weight out oh that feels much better like i've been using as i, as I get killed <laughs> but like, yeah, this feels much better. That's how I will use it. I used to be a fan of heavier mice, but I definitely like the lightweight style. Let's go ahead and switch to the EM500. I definitely like the weight on this much better. Let's see if we can get a couple kills. Get out of here. What are you doing? Creeping around the corner like that. Got him out of here. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, let's get him out of here. Let's go to street, baby. Got him out of here. Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> let's go. He got me. I can do my thing with this. For 15, you can't go wrong with the EM500. Let's go ahead and switch to the last one. I didn't go in and program the sniper button to do anything, so I'm not even using it. But let's go ahead and see if we get a couple kills off. Boom. Long distance. Got out the way. Got him. Got him. But yeah, let's just go ahead and wrap this up. Woo, man, you, you, you don't understand that it's a tough job that I gotta actually like play video games to let you guys know about how good these mice are. When you go on Amazon and you look for a gaming mouse and you're paying less than $20, I've tried a few of them out here. You're gonna get a lot of crap. Honestly, for these prices, I gotta give them a little bit of love. If you are not looking to spend any real money to get somebody into gaming or yourself, the EM200 is a very solid mouse, especially if you want it a little bit lighter and you take the weights out. If you guys know the mouse for $10 that you can go get right now, that'll beat it. Let me know down in the comments and I will pick it up and we'll check it out here on this channel. I was able to get some kills, score streaks, and it felt natural. That was the same thing for the EM500. Honestly, I think with the shape and weight, that probably was low key my favorite of the three, just because it had the shape that I love and the weight was just perfect at 68 grams. I was able to get in, snap the shots, do long range sniping, 
All of that will ease with the EM500. It's a very solid mouse for the price. It's, I mean, really, what are we talking about here? And then that brings us to the EM600. This had the most interesting feel with that ergonomic shape. If you're looking at something like the G503, but don't have the money to spend on that, this might be something you could check out or you could get it from me. Like I said, I left a link down below in the description. Look, you ain't gotta do a bunch of different stuff like in the past when you had to do some of these giveaways and they made you like a page, subscribe a page, watch a video, holla at their cousin, you know, send off a carrier pigeon, none of that. All you gotta do is just click on that link and make sure you use some information that I can actually contact you on. I'm sorry, it's for the US only. I apologize to my folks all out there across the globe. We will be working on something for you guys here in the near future, but for now, this is US only. If you have any thoughts and opinions on these mice, anything that you want me to try or check out, let me know down below in the comments. I'm gonna get up out of here. It's your kid, Folk Dookie. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy.